Welcome to today, 1,999 of What's Up To Now. We're going to talk about burying the hatchet when it comes to conflict resolution in our relationships. This hatchet literally looks like it was buried. Oh, it's a strange hatchet, very interesting tool. I'm not quite sure where it came from. I found it in the garage. There's lots of old tools and weird stuff in the garage, which makes fun props for my crazy videos. But I need to get it out of the house so that the granddaughters don't get it. So today... We're talking about conflict resolution in this year's Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Conflict resolution and our relationships. We're focusing on our relationship goals this month and talking about uh, the root cause, making sure we're identifying the root cause of conflict in our relationships. And I covered, I don't know, a handful or more uh, of root cause possibilities. You want to say, okay, is this symptom really got a deeper cause to it and do I want to address the deeper cause to it instead of just addressing symptoms. Whenever we're just addressing symptoms, it's like putting a Band-Aid on a little cut, uh, but you broke your leg. Well, yeah, you might need to Band-Aid the cut, but you sure better fix the broken leg or you're not going to be able to hobble along physically, just like you'll not be able to hobble along mentally or spiritually or any other way in your relationships if there is a conflict that's constantly bubbling up to the surface. we got to find ways to deal with that. Then we talked about different conflict resolution tools, things like active listening, things like uh, making sure that you are looking for compromise, not necessarily victory, I statements. Uh, what were some of the others? There, there's a good list. I like good lists. I like to share them more than once. Uh, using I statements, active listening, uh, take a breather, take a break, seek compromise, not victory, practice empathy, focus on solutions, Forget and let go of stuff that just really doesn't matter. Uh, use humor, practice patience, and then sometimes you gotta get outside help, right? Sometimes you need therapy, sometimes you need counselors, sometimes you need mediators, sometimes you need lawyers, depending on where the conflict is and what the resol what kind of resolutions you're seeking. So, great topics. I like the idiom and expression, bury the hatchet. It's been around for centuries. The practice of literally burying weapons to end a conflict, both both actually and symbolically, it, it represents putting away our weapons and not being in conflict or in a quarrel anymore. But uh, it's been around for a long time. It, 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 and I, I shared the history of that in Supersize Your Business. So Saturday here in my neck of the woods, fun day for me. Summer Saturdays are awesome. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, go out, make an amazing day. I plan on doing the same because life is good and it's meant to be enjoyed with less conflict, right? Than uh, we sometimes get ourselves into. And guess what? We always get ourselves into it and we can also get ourselves out of it. All right, have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow for day 2000 of What's She Up To Now. Bye.